I'm Maureen Stanton, an assistant professor in the English department at the University of Missouri in Columbia. All objects tell some story. With antiques and vintage objects, the story can be part of our collective history, like black Americana, or with hooked rugs, the object can tell a personal story. Marbles are one of the oldest known toys. They date back 2,000 years or so to Roman times. In the late 1800s, Sam Dyke of Akron, Ohio, patented a machine to mass manufacture clay marbles, which were either plain brown or dyed in various colors, like these. In America, playing marbles was as popular a game as baseball. The games were played by children and adults as well, as shown in this 1924 photo. Glass marbles were made by machine available after World War I. This bag of vitro all reds made by the Vitro Agate Company in 1959 sold for 19 cents, but now sells for close to $100. Some of the most valuable marbles today are sulfides, which are clear glass marbles with a figure inside, like this praying angel. In December 2011, a 19th century praying angel sulfide like this one was valued at close to $1,000. Black Americana has been a neglected category for collectors until recently, mainly because many artifacts are offensive. Over the years that I researched this book, I saw a shift towards greater acceptance of collecting black Americana. In the past, people who owned cast iron lawn jockeys, like this one pictured, might paint the faces and hands white so they wouldn't be so offensive. But increasingly, there is an understanding that these objects can help us confront that troubling past. The Goldust twins were caricature black children named Goldie and Dusty. The twins were the brand image for Fairbanks Gold Dust washing powder from around 1892 all the way through the mid-1950s, when images like these were increasingly recognized as offensive. This Missouri tourism postcard is dated 1944. The image within each letter highlights state landmarks like the columns at the University of Missouri in Columbia, the bridge at Cape Girardeau, the state capital of the Mississippi River. The final letter shows a stereotypical image of a barefoot African-American boy eating watermelon. Over the past 30 years or so, interest in black Americana has grown. Some of the ordinary objects from America's racist past are now commanding high prices as collectibles. This mammy cookie jar in a local antique shop is priced at 195 In 2011, a cast iron mammy bank sold for over $50,000 at an auction. Mamie Agnew Clayton, a university librarian, spent decades scouring flea markets, yard sales, used bookstores, and even dumps, searching for African-American artifacts, including a signed first edition of Phyllis Wheatley's 1773 poems on various subjects, religious and moral. Philip J. Merrill, an expert appraiser of African-American heritage objects, said that these commonplace objects tell the story of African-American sorrows, defeats, and victories in ways that no history book can. Hooked rugs were utilitarian crafts, often fashioned from old clothes or hand-spun yarn. They could be simple and utilitarian or beautiful works of art. This is a Waldoboro-style rug. Up close, you can see that the flowers and leaves are almost tufted. You can also see the damage to the rug. Mrs. Eleanor Blackstone of Illinois hooked an 8x10 rug in the late 19th century, into which she designed portraits of her six children. So her eldest daughter, Blanche Blaze, born in 1861, sits in a rocker staring out the window at a crescent moon, and her son Roy pulls a sled name Anne. Her toddler Nellie holds a lollipop. Under Nellie's portrait, Mrs. Blackstone wove, Suffer the little children to come unto me. This signifies that her youngest died in childhood, and into the portraits Mrs. Blackstone wove a bit of each child's hair. Blackstone's rug tells the story of her children, but the rug also tells a story about her. Antique dealers sometimes say an object has soul. For me, hooked rugs have the spirit of the maker within them. All objects contain some sort of story. With antiques and vintage objects, the story can be part of our collective history. Marbles, black Americana, and hooked rugs are excellent examples of narratives embedded in objects.